This is uh, the most complete guide about the ammo types in War Thunder, okay? So here we will cover all the information regarding all the bullets and the belts of the aviation mode of War Thunder. Okay, there's something that you should know before I tell you which is the best belt to use, because uh, this is really important to know. And th it is the type of rounds that we have in the game, because remember that the belt is compound by a lot of rounds. So we have the armor piercing, which essentially is a bullet that goes straight through the plane. Okay, so that's it. It penetrates the plane and it can destroy it. We have the high explosive round. So once uh, this round gets in contact with the plane, it will cause an explosion that will cause uh, damage to the plane. Okay, so maybe your wing can be ripped off. The incendiary round is completely different than the high explosive round. Okay, so this carries chemicals that once it gets in contact with the aircraft it will cause a fire okay so normally this could cause oil leaks and also it can damage the structure of the plane we have the tracers around okay so this one carries chemicals that allows you to see the direction or trajectory of the bullets once they are in the air so this one is more like a round for beginners in order to improve your aim the bad thing about this type of rounds is that those chemicals makes the bullet slower, so it will be not as effective as other types of rounds. Okay, so now that we have that basic information, I will show you some of the belts that we have available in the game, and the which one should you carry in order to destroy air targets, which ones are useful to destroy ground targets, and which ones are useful to destroy both surface and the air targets. Okay, so... Here we have the default, this is a belt that is useful to destroy both surface and the air targets. As you can see we have high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell. Okay, so this fragmentation is that the bullet spreads in small pieces causing damage in a wider area. Okay, so that's why it is really effective to destroy air targets and the armor piercing tracer shell will be useful to destroy ground targets. As you can see it is not only armor piercing to destroy ground targets but also you will see the tracer with the this bullet which will be more easier to destroy the ground target. The universal is also another type of belt that you can use to destroy both surface and air targets. As you can see it's omnipurpose 20mm ammunition belt. So this one carries high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell and armor piercing tracer shell. Almost the same thing as the default belt. Okay, so here we have the air targets, of course, that this will be more useful to destroy aircraft. So, here you can see the composition of this belt is high explosive fragmentation incendiary, armor piercing tracing, high explosive fragmentation incendiary, and also, once again, high explosive fragmentation incendiary shells. So, basically, if you're looking for belts in order to destroy air targets, you should look for the belts with the highest incendiary and high explosive shells. Okay, look. Ground targets. Use uh, this one only to destroy ground targets like tanks, artillery and air defenses. So as you can see this belt is composed by the armor piercing tracer shell, high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell and th the practice shell. So the practice shell is like a standard bullet, same as uh, the vol, it's just full metal, nothing else, not chemicals, not incendiary, no tracers, nothing. This is the stealth belt. Okay, so you must be careful because with some types of belts we have advantages, but at the same time there are disadvantages. Okay, so this is the case for this belt. With this one, you're not gonna have tracers, so the enemy is not gonna see like if you're shooting at them, but this will reduce the range of your bullets. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to destroy targets at long ranges. So the composition of this belt is high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell and the practice shell. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have other types of rounds. For example, here we have the adjustment incendiary bullet. So basically, this is an incendiary shell with a capped nose in order to prevent bouncing. Also, we have the vol, 
which is an omnipurpose bullet, is like a worst shell compared to the armor piercing, but yeah, it is another standard bullet, same as the practice. So if you see something like this, armor piercing incendiary tracer bullet. Okay, so as I told you, you will have armor piercing in order to destroy the ground target, incendiary which will cause fire, and the tracer in order to see the trajectory in the direction of the bullet. Okay, so here we have another type of a build, and in this case, this is the best one to use in your aircraft. Okay, so this is the high explosive fragmentation incendiary tracer shell. So this will be the best option because here we have the most amount of high explosive and incendiary shells, and yes, this is the belt that you should use in this aircraft. So the conclusion is, if you want to destroy air targets, look for the belt with the most high explosive and incendiary rounds. This is the case for the air targets, and also, the universal and the default will be useful, but remember that those belts are useful to destroy both surface and air targets. Ground targets only to destroy ground targets, as I told you, and also, universal and default will be useful to destroy those targets as well. And the stealth will be different, because remember that the range will be limited, you will be able to cause more damage if the enemy is at a short range, but it will be extremely difficult to you to destroy an enemy if he's getting far, because your range will be decreased. Okay guys, so now we're gonna test our belts in action. So as you can see, these are tier 2 aircrafts, so look. My belts are air targets stealth in order to destroy enemies at closer ranges, and the universal which is a mix of both in order to destroy surface and the air targets as well. So my strategy will be to climb a lot in order to avoid getting destroyed at the beginning of the battle. I'm gonna try to be careful here, look there are a bunch of enemies here. That enemy is getting closer to my location. Yeah, I think we can actually try to destroy that one. Which is the closest one. This could be our first elimination, bro. It was so <laughs> easy, man. Yo. Okay, let's climb again. I don't see anyone over here. Yeah, there's an enemy. There's an enemy below. I think that one is the closest enemy. So yeah, let's go for that one. Oh, apparently... He was destroyed already, so forget it about it. I'm gonna try to climb again. Yo! Look at that guy, bro. This is gonna be another elimination for me. Yeah, it's gonna be easy to destroy it. No way, bro. He's on fire already. But, yeah. Now we did it. We have two eliminations. First place of this battle so far. Really good. Let me see. There's no one. Yeah, there's an enemy behind me. He just <laughs> crashed. Look, now we're gonna use the high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell. Yeah. Look. Can we destroy it? We caused some damage. There. Bro, this was so clean, man. Perfect. Okay, I don't like the rate of fire of this weapon, bro. It's not good at all. Look, we can destroy this guy. Yeah, we caused some fire. That's why this belt is the best. That guy is gonna be dead soon. We can even try to destroy it here. Are you gonna crash? Yeah, he's so dead, bro. Yeah, that was my elimination. Ooh, we must be careful with that guy. Yo, what are you trying to do? Yeah, he's gonna be destroyed. Look. We can even get that elimination. The problem is the reload time of my weapons. Oh, he's gonna crash. Yeah, he crashed. There are... There were two enemies there, bro. Like, what were you guys doing? Okay. They crashed. Both. That was crazy. Yo, that was crazy, bro. That was so easy, man. Let's go. Look, we can destroy it right there. Yo, <laughs> bye bye, my friend. Let me see if we have more enemies over here, bro. Like, I don't see anyone. Oh, boy, it was a defeat. 
but I have the first place with uh, six eliminations, okay? Good job, I guess. Okay, guys, so this was uh, the demonstration. Please comment below if you have more information that could be useful for all the players about the ammunition in the aviation mode of War Thunder Mobile. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more guides in the videos like this.